Why are car seats so freaking complicated? I just need to move the belt. Why is it so hard? I don't understand. with Miko. So have you ever struggled with trying to figure out how to take apart a Graco car seat? How the heck do you get to the latch belt and how do you move that latch belt when you're ready to change your child from rear facing to forward facing? If you've ever struggled with this, this is the video for you. I am going to demonstrate how to remove the car seat padding from the Graco Slim Fit 3-in-1 convertible car seat. I'll also be demonstrating how to locate the latch belt and readjust the location from the bottom of the car seat that is appropriate when your child is rear facing to the back of the car seat when you are ready to move them to forward facing. So if you are looking for information like that, then keep watching. So here is the Graco Slim Fit all-in-one car seat. It has three different functions. So I'm gonna be showing how to release the car seat pad on the bottom, as well as uh, just the latch belt from the bottom of the base to the top. So if you see here, there are these little snaps in the top of the seat and toward the middle of the seat. We're going to unsnap those to reveal the inside of the car seat. You want to start by raising the headrest to the highest adjustment point. So just grab that lever, squeeze it, and push it up. So you want to unhook the belts, the straps, the harness, and pull them to the side and out of the way. We're going to remove the infant seat pad cover. You just want to push the buckle through the little slot and it comes right off and that will give you better access to the snaps on the back of the seat. So these are pretty sturdy, so you're just gonna give a good tug and pull that apart. So we're gonna unsnap those four snaps. From there, we're gonna go ahead and move the seat belt out of the little cutout so you can pull the seat pad fully forward to expose the guts of the car seat. Now the buckle, you just want to do the same thing, push the buckle down through that slot so you can pull the car seat pad even further up and out. Now we need to remove the padding from the armrest of the car seat. So underneath, next to the cup holder area, there's these little elastic bungee bands, if you can see that, on a little metal hook and eye almost, or a clip. So you just want to stretch out the band and remove it from the clip and we're going to do the same thing on the other side but wait there's more so after you have the bungee bands released from around the bottom of the cup holder area we're going to move up to the actual armrest and you are going to tug down beneath the padding of the armrest there's a little plastic tab that's tucked up into the harder plastic portion of the car seat and so you just give it a little, a little tug and it will release the tab and so you can fully remove the padding from the armrest sections and of course you want to do that to the other side so now we are able to fully remove the seat pad exposing the latch belt so as you can see, there's two different areas. Now I did go ahead and move this latch belt from the rear facing to forward facing position, but I'm going to undo that and uh, show you for demonstration purposes. So the blue area is where the latch strap should be for rear facing and the orange label is where the latch strap should be for forward facing. So there's a bright orange piping holds the latch strap underneath on one side. So what you want to do is bring both of the latch strap buckles, bring them inside of the actual body of the car seat. So take them out of the loop. So if it's in the rear facing loops on the bottom of the seat, you want to bring them into the center of the seat. So we're just gonna slide the latch belt up the bright orange guideline. Make sure that the harness straps are out of the way. And we're simply going to 
line it up with the orange label for forward facing and then we'll take the latch belt buckles and put those through the holes through the back of the seat and you just want to make sure that the belt is not twisted up it's lying flat and now you are ready for the forward facing mode of the car seat my son wanted to be in the mix <laughs> The buckles, you just simply press the red button. It will open the little clamp inside of the latch and that is what you connect to the bottom anchors and the top anchor in your vehicle. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the car seat pad back in place. So we'll start by laying it over and pulling the buckle through the corresponding uh, slit, whatever is comfortable or suitable for the size of your child. So after you pull that through, we're gonna go ahead and reconnect the snaps. And then if you are using the additional seat pad, then you wanna also put that back in there as well. Again, lacing through the corresponding slit with the buckle in the bottom. You wanna be sure that you also have the harness belts laced back in the little slots in the seat of the seat pad and the bottom back corners. And go ahead and release that headrest back to the appropriate position for the size of your child. So there's that five point. So the top anchor is one. Each of the side anchor, back anchors, bottom anchors would be two and three. The chest clamp is four. And then five is the uh, crotch buckle. So that's your five point safety latch system. Oops. Forgot to also show that you want to insert the plastic tabs on the armrest back into the slots on each side and reattach the bungee bands. If you're not sure where the anchors are located within your car, there's usually a little uh, indicator of some sort that looks like a, a baby seat, but check your owner manual of your vehicle. So you do want to make sure that you use the lower anchors as well as the top anchor if you're going to use the latch system. They do also advise to use either or. So you can either use your traditional seat belt and latch it through the back of the seat. If you choose to use the traditional seat belts that's part of your car or vehicle, you do not want to also use the latch strap. So it's an either or situation. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Definitely check out the other videos I have on my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Join the tribe. Mommy, I have to go. Oh, okay. Until then, I'll see you on the next journey on the go with Miko. Bye.